Good morning, world. And the sinkhole hasn't fallen through. But good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another vlog. Day six of Vlogtober. I've got myself ready. We're up relatively early. Bear in mind, we got in last night quite late. I feel like I've not had enough sleep, but I'm going to power through because today is the day I get with Diane, obviously, being very busy throughout the week. Our Sundays are sacred. So we're actually going out this morning for breakfast. I've got myself ready. I'm still debating whether to have the fringe or no fringe. I feel like I need a bit of like weight taking out this front and just a bit of a trim. Because it's a bit, a little bit still. I don't know, I feel like I have my fringe forward. I like the idea of it, but I can't help but think I look like a coconut. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's trying to be like a French crop, but it's not at the same time. It's a bit too much fringe going on. So I end up getting scared and then going back to having a fringe. But do you know what? I think I'll just keep it like this for this morning. And if I get funny looks throughout town, maybe I'll switch it back. Also, if you're into your fragrances, I got this uh, as a gift from Zoe and Alfie for my birthday. Aqua de Palma is the brand, but this particular scent, Mandolo di Cecilia, it's so good. I actually started an LTK, which I can't remember what, I, I remember it as reward style back in the day. It's now called LTK, which is where if you have stuff, people are like, oh, where's that from? Obviously I'm not getting Zoe Sug levels of, oh my God, where did you get that from? I need to buy that. Where's the link? But I do get a few people ask me where I get certain things from. And I, I remember like in the past, people have done that thing of like on Instagram and they say, it's a little box that says, if you ever want to know where anything was from in my vlogs, leave a comment down below of what you what you saw in the vlog or link to it or which vlog or whatever, and I'll then link the item of where it is. But anyway, I've set up this LTK thing. I post that fragrance on there as a tester, but I might start doing it, especially as I realize that I have no clothes. I think I'm due a big wardrobe upgrade. When I do buy different outfits or start different outfits, I might post them on track of my LTK and do some like lookbook style content. Check me out. I'm a I've got a new haircut and he thinks he's a fashion influencer. In saying that, I have got an, a video idea that I want to do, which I feel like would be a fun vlog, but also I feel like it kind of has a little bit of like main channel Thatch Joe energy where I get my sister, Diane, and my mum to each buy me two or three different outfits based on certain criteria. So like going out in the evening, autumn, casual, and maybe like a wild card category and I let them just go and buy an outfit for each of those categories, and then we all come together, and I've got to try and guess who, out of my mum, my sister, and my girlfriend, bought me which outfit, because it's a good idea, isn't it? I feel like I'd be able to know who's is who straight away. Mm. Actually, no, do you know what? I thought it'd be easy, but actually it'd be harder than, than I thought, because I feel like, I think you and mums will be quite hard to distinguish between. You reckon? Think so, but then sometimes I reckon mum will throw in like something that's like proper old school and I'll be like, yeah, that's definitely mum. What if I Pres do curveballs? Curveballs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You might try and play it different, yeah. One of you might just completely stitch me up. I hope not, because I'm paying for the clothes. <laughs> but I'm giving them each an allowance to go and buy outfits. Now I'm thinking, are we talking shoes as well as accessories? That's what Zoe said. Uh, um... I feel like you should. This this the issue is the budget. That's the that's the. Um... It is literally that game show. What is it on TV on channels? Ah, uh, the Money. date like they're dating, but because of the outfits that they yeah. make. Yeah, but this obviously is not going to include the dating. Oh. Well, you might you can win a date, obviously. Oh. No, do you know what? I would take my mum and my sister out on a date. Yeah. Just not a romantic date. I know we're from the West Country, but I mean, look, if it was a competition on who's got the most retro vintage T-shirts, like Ghostbusters. Motley Crue, Foo Fighters, like band shirts. Look, Crocodile Rock, Elton John, a vintage Coca-Cola t-shirt, Blink 182, take off your pants and jacket, which is actually one of my favorite t-shirts. It just fits very, very nicely. Pinky and the Brett. Look, I've got so many like vintage, like this t-shirt actually. Fun fact, I bought this in New York, a New York vintage t shop. I've, I think I've never worn it because Ooh, this one cost me Quite, this is the most expensive t-shirt I think I've ever bought in my life. Is it? It's vintage Simpsons, yeah. Oh, it's from like, one. it's from like the year 1991, I think the year I was born, I think, what was it? It's really hard to see, but it's, it's got a date on it, I don't know. No, hat or no hat? But this is an old vintage t-shirt, but I feel like I should wear that more. Hat or no hat? Yeah, hat. I like the hat. You like the hat? It means, it keeps you very like incognito. Yeah. 
<laughs> Except for the red hair. But everyone's, everyone didn't see your red hair last night, so they might not know it was you. Yeah, they won't know it was me. They might think, they were like, you just pretend to be, you should have gone out your garth, you should have taken the garth wig home actually, and gone, we should have gone out for breakfast with the garth wig on. Could you imagine? And everyone would be like, why is Joe taking Toya Toy out? <laughs> Toya out. <laughs> I think Toya's got a toy boy and it's me. Oh no. Yes, who forgot to clean their car yesterday? Oh my god. Hey, at Joe. least the mud has come off the top of the tyres. So I mean, before it was like just cake. It looked like a, I said before it looked like a giant chocolate cake. My, my dad couldn't believe that you went off roading in it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all the scratches. I've got to go and go speak to see if you can like tea cut them out. Apparently, but whoa, proper. But then that's do you know what I mean. I had so much fun driving this off road. I think this, there's a bit of even mud or like a giant bug or dead something on one of my sensors because it's coming up. I don't know what that is, but when I move like it follows me. Do you know what it smells in here, like in here? Look, look, what is that? What does it smell like in here? Bonfire. Yeah, it does. Doesn't it? I think we definitely need to get new phones. I can't believe, yeah, we do. Because you're not even focusing anymore. Oh, really? No, you're just, you're just a blur. Really? Yeah. Do you know what I do want to do though? What do you want to do? Is get that nicely detailed. Your car? Yeah. I think it needs more than detailing. Yeah, I, I need it, to get that guy out and give it I a I think it needs everything. like a full, like, it could be a project. We can do it as a project. Yeah. A car project. You can do it as a project. I'd love love to. I'd love to. I love to turn that Mini because I do love that Mini. I love I the love old Mini. So I think. I'll give we you the should. money. Would you? Yeah, and you do, and you do it. Okay. Honestly, because that's, that's a great job well, done for me. Have you noticed anything different on this car? Oh. You've got a middle detector. My metal detector is back. It's back. It's back, baby. Reunited with my trusty Garrett. Yeah, so we're heading out to Brighton this morning to go and get some breakfast. I think Sundays for me is one of my favourite days of the week now. Yeah. I never I used like to like. You. I used to. It's, I've got a love hate relationship with Sundays because like the first half of a Sunday, I love. The second half, sometimes I get a bit like sad because it makes me go. Oh. You know, I feel like as a kid, I used to have that thing of like, oh no, it's school tomorrow. Like when you hear Antiques Roadshow start playing. Yeah, well, no, I, didn't, I never I never used to watch Antiques Roadshow. Did you know that was the school school time? But what was it for me? What was the Sunday watch? <sighs> I know what, for us, yeah. you had Antiques Roadshow. For yeah. us, it was, give me a home among the gum trees. We've lots of plum trees. Really, I've heard this one before. A barbecue or a sheep or two. Boom. A clothesline out the back in an old rocking chair. Yes. And do you know what it was called? It was called Burke's Backyard. Do you know and what? And it was a gardening show. I've definitely heard that. Sundays. I've definitely heard that song before, which is now making me start to think that we've had this conversation in a previous vlog about how we feel about Sunday evening. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Definitely. Give me a home among the, the gum, gum trees. trees. With yeah, lots of plum trees. trees. Or a cock or two. No, a barbecue or a sheep or two. two. Or a cock A veranda or two. out the front and a, no, a veranda out the, the front. A clothesline out, out the, the back front. and an old rocking chair. That, That's remi what it was. that reminds me of, um, I don't know Let me why. See if I can find it. Reminds me of Colin from Accounts, which is something that if you guys have not watched oh it. Oh my god. It's, it's annoying though, because I recommend it to so many people and they kind of go, oh yeah, yeah, I might watch that. No, I think because the I name. I don't think people understand how good it is. I think because the name of the show puts people off, because they think Colin from Accounts, I don't really care about accounting. And it's, the name Colin from Accounts has nothing to do with. The show, like the, what the show is based on, right? Kind of, anyway. Especially season two. You don't even see Colin in season two. He's in the first episode. No. That's it. No. You know what I mean, it's not about that. It's about a relationship. It's very, so very funny. We were. I was speaking to Jason Gilkinson yesterday. Oh, wait, about it. Yeah. Because he's also a big fan. Really... I feel like Australians in the UK love it. Which bit was he talking to you about? We're talking about the the dinner scene. But yeah. Also with the dad. I don't want to give do too many spoilers, but the one we're going to visit the his dad's. family. Yeah. Um. But we were saying like it's weirdly relatable. Like it shouldn't be relatable because the stuff that happens in there is crazy. Yeah. But it is a bit relatable. Yeah. And I can like from my experience of being around you Aussies, I can definitely see it. Not so much of your family, but there's little moments where I'm like, yeah. Oh that's... yeah, no, I can say there's my family in there. Can I play you can I play Burke's back yeah, up yeah, intro? Yeah, yeah. Get... I'll probably get copyrighted. No, I don't think you will. I think I will. But if you're watching this, just let me have this one, mate, please. John Williams, Burke Backyard Burks. Hang on. John Williams.
Berlioz, he's like one of the most famous composers in the world. Is he? There's no way I'll get away with that. Is he actually? I think so. Okay. He, did, he did like, um, John Williams did, I think he did, Indiana Jones theme song. Must be a different job. There's profile of John Williams down there, I reckon. Oh, maybe he was on Burke's Backyard. Do you know what song has been stuck in my head? Do you have the Hoops? The morning television. No. We know who the Hoops are. I, the tube and hula. The Hoops. And they're coming to play. Hama, hama, hama in Hoopland. And Roma somewhere far away. Oh, oh, oh. The rover jets are spinning. Ricky B engine spinning. Do, 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 hip, hip, hooray. I've never heard of that one. The what is it called? Here, now what do you say? Hoops. Eh? Nah, I never heard of it. Is it a cartoon? I might get a copyright strike for that, just from being so accurate to the actual theme song. Give me a home among the gum trees, with lots of plum trees. Ah, it's a cockatoo in a barbecue. I said cockatoo, didn't I? Did you? Yeah, but I said it as a joke, because I thought it would sound rude. <laughs> That's so funny. And it's something in Veggies by the Fence. Veggies by the Fence. Paul at Berg's Backyard. Berg's Backyard. in the olden days in like London. Really? I think Burke is Cockney rhyming slang for one of the worst words that you can say. No. Try and guess what it is. Kirk. <laughs> Burke. Uh, Smirk. No. So it's, I think it's short for Berkshire Hunt. So you can imagine what it's Cockney rhyming slang for. If I was to call you a Berkshire Hunt, what do you think I'm calling you? I think we'll leave it. I think we'll move the conversation on. Shit. <laughs> no. Do you know what Cockney rhyming slang is? Not really. So if I say apple, I'm going to the apples and pears. What would that mean? A tree. Oh my god. Really? Apples and pears tree. I'm going. <laughs> no. Don't. I'm just going to dip up the apples and pears to go and fetch um, a hat. Shop. I'm going up the apples, it's Cockney rhyming slang. Yeah. So I get it. I'm going up the apples and pears. What does that rhyme with? It's rhyming slang. I'm going up the apples and pears. What rhymes with apples? What, what, what rhymes with apples and pears? I'm going up. Cattle, cattle. Where'd you get cattle from? Apple, cattle. No, I'm going over the apples and pears. It always rhymes the last word. Oh, uh, right. So I'm going up the apples and pears to go and wash my boat race. What? Come on, <laughs> come on. Okay. Surely you know this. I'm just going to I'm just going to go up the apples and pears to wash my boat race. That's ridiculous. So what rhymes with pears? That I can be going up. Oh, stairs. Yes. Right. Yes, hallelujah, yes. But why would you say apples and pears? It's got nothing to do with stairs. Apple, apples and pears, stairs. I'm going up to what? I'm going up the apples and pears, which means stairs. Right. To go and wash my boat race. What could my boat? What can? What could boat race be? If I'm washing it. What rhymes with boat race? Race. Next place. <laughs> I'm going upstairs to wash my necklace. Yeah. No, I wouldn't wash my necklace. It's Nick Lace. Nick Lace, sorry. What would what would what would what what would, what would make more sense? I did actually wash it wash it today. Going upstairs. What did I wash today? With my lovely gifted Abaji product. Oh your face! Your Boat face! Race. Face. Apples and pears, stairs, oh. boat, race, face. Uh, yeah, but that's just so confusing. So let's visit the, the original one, which was, if I was to call you a Berkshire Hunt, mm. what, what do you think I'm calling you? What was that? Oh. I get it now. <laughs> well, no, I, I need to say because I don't know if you actually do. Yeah, I get what it. What is it? What is it? I get it. Okay, tell me. Go on. <laughs> you munt. No! <laughs> no. 
You can't say that. <laughs> well, you weren't going to get it. Oh, okay. If I was going to say, I'm going to give that a butcher's. So instead, like, instead of saying, I'm going to get, so it's short for butcher's hook. I'm going to go give that a butcher's hook. There's a new uh, painting in a gallery down the road. I'm going to go give it a quick butcher's, butcher's hook. But why you say butchers and then butchers hook? There's always like two. That's always like two words together. It's, we always rhyme the last word. But you just said I'm going to go give it a butchers. Yeah, because you said for short. Because back in those days, you'd know what butchers meant. It's a shortened way of saying the Cockney rhyming slang. Okay, so I'm going to an art gallery to go and give um, this new Mona Lisa painting a butchers, butchers hook. What am I going to do? Let's go give that a butchers hook. Oh, that looks nice. Let's go give it a butchers hook. See that brain ticking. See that brain whirring. <laughs> Chuck. You need to... No. Come on. I don't get it. Butcher's I don't hook. get I don't get what butcher's hook has what, to do with anything. What, what am I doing now? Driving. Yeah, well I am driving, yes, but what am I like doing with my eyes? Looking. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we could get there. Butcher's hook. Yeah. Come on. Look. Yes! <laughs> that, uh, th this is what I don't get. Why? I'm not thinking about a rhyme. I'm thinking about what has what a butcher's hook is. Like, I'm trying to think of what is something to do with the butcher's hook. You always just rhyme the last, the last word. Yeah, but surely it's got to do with something with the butcher's. With a butcher's hook. Yeah. It's no, it's, it's always it. got nothing to do with it. So just take that out of your mind. Right. It, boat race, face, it's, it's always, it's never anything linked. Right. I think you're trying to overcomplicate it properly. Yeah, I'm trying to really think of the so link. I think you're just too smart for this. Ah, there you go, yeah. That's okay, why I think well. it is. I think you're actually just a bit too smart. There you go, I think that's exactly what it is. Oh, look, another green light. Do you know, Budgeons? Yeah. My right. best friend used to be called Christy Budgeon. Really? Yeah. Did she have her name changed or what? Uh, actually, she got married now. Oh, so she did change her name. Well, yeah, but I didn't mean it like that. I just make she's not really my best friend anymore. <laughs> no, I really like her. Still like her. nothing happened. It's just like I've moved away. Does she like Kurt's Kurt's garden, or whatever it's called? She would have loved Kurt's backyard. Yeah. Kurt's backyard. You look very brightened this morning. Do I? Yeah. Feel, do you know oh, who I feel like? This is the place we didn't go to. I want to try this place. Oh, Shogun oh, Ramen. Oh my god! What is going on with my lid? <laughs> Oh, this isn't good. I don't think anyone in Brighton has his haircut right now. <laughs> Maybe, oh no, it's even worse. Look, I'm getting like this sort of comb over flap. <laughs> no. Do you um, know what my maybe... style feels like today? I feel very much, and I'm a big fan of this girl, Chloe Haywood. She's, yeah. um, she's got such cool style. If you don't follow her, go on Instagram. I'll put a link down in the description. And follow Chloe Haywood, because she's got the coolest, coolest style. Are we going the right that. way? Uh, we passed it. I don't know. Maybe it's closed. Is it not here? Uh, we're lost. Which is ironic because we're going to a place called Lost in the Lanes, but we genuinely are lost. Was it not just back there? I feel like it, maybe. Ooh, we found mm. it. I like their um, branding. Yeah, me too. This is the spot. This is the breakfast spot. Lost in the Lanes. Mum, this is the one I was telling you about on the phone before. This okay. we're going to bring you. Nice. Let's go. I hope there's a seat free because I do not want to sit outside. Oh. Do you know what? I can just see the shadow of my hair on this menu. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone Byron, you'd be proud of me, and Casper, and my fellow South Africans. I've gone for the rooibos tea brew. How's it? And Diane's gone for a turmeric latte. Delicious. Oh, that does look so good. It does. And so the turmeric hasn't got coffee in it? No. Oh, good on you. You like the foam, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think we've done well here, Dot. Yeah, Although I've got to take, I think, is this um, coriander? I don't know if that's coriander, but if so, that's got to come off. But other than that, perfection. Well, we have stuffed our boat races at the, uh, <laughs> the Lost in the Lanes. I get that. Huh? I got that. Yeah, she understands it now. I'm trying to think of another one but dinner. What would dinner be? Tea. I don't know. What is a Sunday also without taking Diane to my favourite shop <laughs> in the whole wide world? I'm not even kidding. Warhammer. Dun dun. Warhammer. Oh, yeah, I think it's open. Is it open? Oh, I can't believe we've got Diane looking into 
themselves the wind of a Warhammer shop. All well, the shops here open at 11 on a Sunday, but I can hear them shaking their dice from here. First stop on a shopping trip. Well, second stop. Oh, I've yeah. just bought some Christmas stuff. It's not my favourite shop in the world. We're in Almost TK Maxx. Diane loves it. But every now and then yeah, yeah. they do have some absolute bangers for like the home homeware stuff. I love it. But I think it's just this one because it has no windows. So it just creeps them out a little bit, the one in Brighton. There's like no windows. So you don't know what time of day it is, where yeah, you are. Just just yeah. Shot. It's something about it that just sort of like freaks me out a little bit. Halloween candles from TK Maxx are the ones. They really are. So far, shopping has not been successful. Not really. Our saving grace to find some things for Halloween is the home sense. I think this could be the could be this the spot. Pretty Halloween-y. <laughs> The front of the door. Well, the dark as well. Ooh. See what I mean? I just feel like it's like. Tacky. Yeah, it's got to be the right level of like nice but not tacky, but got to go with like a, uh, still with our house theme, if that yeah. makes sense. I'm a bit like now we're here, I'm looking at it all. I kind of feel like you don't want to overdo it. So now I'm a little bit like, what do we do? Yeah, exactly. I kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't think we need any of this. I think we just, yeah. To yeah. Add to my collection. <laughs> <laughs> collection. Oh, that's quite cool. Balloon garland kit. Yeah, that is cool. I don't, it wasn't as successful as last year's, I didn't feel like. Well, because I think it, we've gone a bit more, we want it to be more autumnal rather than Halloween y. Yeah, but I mean, we'll show you what we did get when we get home. But also, as you can probably hear right now, I still have the same iPhone. Still, obviously, I'm not going to set oh. that quickly, but. We, we've come away iPhoneless. Yeah, we didn't get any iPhones. Turns out the, uh, the new iPhone is pretty popular. Yeah, especially the big, gig, gig, big gigas. The what? The big gigabytes. The big, yeah, want the big terabyte one, obviously, folks we use the phone mainly for filming and stuff. So we need like the most memory possible, but they're all sold out everywhere, apparently. So you couldn't, mm. we couldn't get them for love nor money. But you were so and lucky. We did try. we did try offering money and love, and none of them worked. <laughs> iPhoneless. Hey. What? You take off the airbrush more. Yeah, I did. Whoa. Look, and there. Whoa, massively noticed. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Those hairs are to protect my moulds, but I do it for cosmetic reasons. Yeah, in sunshine. <laughs> Just let, let your moulds grow hairy, I say. In the winter time, but, you can yeah. take the hair off. <laughs> it should be the summertime, opposite. Oh, right, no, no, yeah, let them grow. yeah. So we're going to head back <laughs> and then, what, get the fire going? Chill? Well, I've got to pack because I've got to leave and yeah. go choreograph. Dan's got a pack. When we get back, I'll take you through what we did. There's a few things that we did get, we did find, and we'll show you what we got. So we'll see you back at home. Should we do some more, uh, copy rhyming slang? No. Okay. I also need to flip flop. Oh my word. It's that time of year, mince pies are back. And, and boxes of like, quality streets. <gasps> no! Shall we? Is it too early? I feel like it's too early. It's good for Halloween. No, it's not. That's, no, no, that's, that's, you can't have that Halloween. It's Christmas. Put it back. Halloween. Put it back. No, that's not. That is not Halloweeny. That is Christmassy, and it should be a tin, not plastic. I'm telling you, bring back the tin. Uh, yeah. Question for you. Mm. What is Homer Simpson's famous catchphrase? Don't. Oh no, don't. Don't. <laughs> no, no, don't. No, no, no. Freezing cold. This is um, some dough I'm going to use later on. Some sourdough dough that I'm going to defrost. And then later on, because I'm on my own, Diane's going into London, I'm going to get my uh, pizza oven going again and make some uh, homemade pizza. I know exactly the sort of pizza I want to make, but this, I picked this up from the shop. Joe's Hot Honey, drizzle on pizza, breakfast muffins, or crunchy fried chicken. Sweeten and spice up your favorite marinade or use on anything. So, I don't quite know if that looks how it's supposed to look. Okay, it's in date still. You must have to warm it up first. Honey may naturally crystallize. Okay. From East Sussex. What are you doing? See, this never works. That's not on properly. Yeah, but I don't know how to get it on. That right. definitely is on the wonk. Let me do it. Let me do it. What the hell? That's what I mean. What the? That's the... What the? What the heck? Oh, that weighs oh, no. a ton. Oh, spillage is leakage. I'm not going to lick it. Spillage is leakage. No. That's a rule. If you spill your drink, you've got to lick it off. I'm really disappointed. If anyone knows how to fix a sage machine, 
Do Sage? Oh. This is, not doing it. is your coffee not doing it? But I, well, first of all, this says empty me. Can you not read? Yeah, that's not, but that's not, um... But, I mean, that won't help. You've got nothing to do with the pour. But it shows to me that you do not look after your machine. Right, there's nothing to do with the pour. You don't, and I think you probably keep the puck still in here, look. Yeah. Nothing to do with the pour. But, oh, it smells eggy. Oh, it's that. Yeah, but... I've stirred up whatever's in that and it stinks. In what? In the bottom here. Yeah, the bottom will stink. Yeah. And you leave your beans open, which is... <coughs> I know, I'm just saying, I know, I know, but I'm just saying that these are all things that, all right, I've got a feeling that coffee experts would go, that ain't gonna help. But yeah, there's something, I think it's something to do with this on the side. But have you ever properly like watched tutorials on it? Yes. On how to make coffee and how to set your grind size, depending on what bean you have. And I just don't get it. I think you need the scale weigher so you know exactly how many beans to put in per... We descaled it. I don't know how. That could be it. You probably just need proper descaling. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Have you watched the tutorial? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the world of living with Diane, where if something doesn't work, it's just kind of like a, ah, oh, it's broke, kick it, rather than go, hmm, let me research how to fix it. What makes it even funnier is that she's already got her eyes set on a new coffee machine as well. Like a even more like bigger, proper one, which if that broke, the bigger the machine is, the more maintenance it needs to run. Like the little Nescafe one we had, espresso, mm. espresso one, mm. simple, put it in, easy, same pour every time. Whereas yeah. this, it requires like, it's called like dialing in or something. I kind of want to go back to Nespresso a little bit. Really? Ish. But, pods? But I prefer, I don't, I don't really want to use the pods. Right. Because I've heard bad things about the aluminium. Okay. I think what you need to do is just need to take it upon yourself to properly learn about how to do it mm. just my two cents because it's a big machine and the machine it, it's like it's like driving a car mm -hmm. if you maintain your car well and service it and not let mold grow on it it will last you a lifetime you can occasionally get mud on there and go off-roading but ultimately you should always service it and it will last you a lifetime like with a coffee machine for example if you service it and you look after it it will last you and provide you a good quality coffee the plan was to get new iPhones, so you don't hear this annoying whirring sound you're listening to right now. I feel like there's so, like last year was probably more the or terminal stuff. I can't say that word, Joe. Or terminal. A tum a terminal. Or terminal. Or terminal. Or terminal. Or or tum tum no 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 or terminal or terminal or terminal. Okay. I feel like it was probably more that last year, but more this what? year more autumnal. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Got this. That I love. Which is a table in the middle of the table. We went for one bit of tack. Yeah, we which did. I was like, I think we should just get this because I I want to customize it. We got this, <laughs> which is Frankenstein. Are you, are you going to paint his hair your colour as well? No, I'm not actually. I'm just going to paint, I'm going to kind of leave him as is and paint this woman's hair red, doing a little boring dance. dance. Or if what you have to get it, because it's dancing, isn't it? We could, we could put that on our bookshelf. And then even when we have like great, great grandkids, yeah. this will get passed down and they're like, why do we have this gross And then they can look back statue. on this video yeah. and say it was actually and on... This is where it came from, great, great the grandkids. The 7th of October, 2020. Is yeah. it 7th? 6th, sorry. Worst haul ever, except for... the uh, These are actually my two favourite things. Yeah, favourite things, but really weird. Have nothing to do with... Halloween. Halloween. I saw them and I was like... I think these are just wicked. They're giant, solid wooden balls. That have like like driftwood wooden balls. Oh, this is the heavy one. Is it? Twelve ninety nine. Not twelve ninety nine. And also, if this was also twelve ninety nine. Yeah, twelve ninety nine each. And that one's way bigger. This one's way bigger and, and more has, heavier. And has a bit more um, to, it. to it. Yeah. They are cute. But I just thought they're quite unusual. Oh yeah, that's so nice. It could be a little bit bigger. It's quite small. It gets sort of lost a bit in the runner. But I love that little tea tea light candle in each of them. And some fresh freshies in in here, and we're laughing. Very nice. And then, for now, a ball there. Maybe not. Maybe not. 
I don't know. I think there's maybe a bit too much going on there now. And then my Christmas decoration of choice was this little goose with a, uh, is it a goose or a runner duck? I'm not sure. I'm gonna say it's a, a, a white Indian runner duck with blue jeans on and a brown bow tie. That was my pick. I don't wanna talk about Christmas too early, but I do like the fact that our Christmas tree every year is just pure random, random decorations that make no sense, but I would not have it any other way. Isn't that right, Frankenstein? My first mince pie of the year. Oh, Dan's already moving it. Oh, yeah. 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 And the other on the other side? I don't mind that. It's unusual. Right, don't mind it. Maybe the other one on the other side. <laughs> Heavier that one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, she's thinking. Where's she gonna go? Yeah. Random? A bit random, that side. <laughs> the other side really works. They don't have to go, they don't have to be near each other, do they? No. But I definitely like that one there. Like this one. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> it's also a good workout, isn't it? Moving around the house all the time. We can play hide the giant wooden ball. When this is up on the wall here, in front of that pot, perhaps. Next to the pot. It's got to be sort of a bit more close to it. Almost touching it. You bring the pot out slightly and the ball behind. It's like depth of field. So yeah, that's it. So it's like tucked behind. Yeah. Well. Mm. Don't mind it. It needs to go. It needs to be like almost touching the pot. I think it's too random. It's just next to it. It's got to be like kind of a collective of items, is not it? Don't mind it. Yeah. All right. Don't mind it. All right for now. I think we need a feng shui. <laughs> yeah. <A> professional. <coughs> Feng shui is. She come in and say, mm, why are there pillows on the floor here? Tom and Lydia's. I don't care that she's in the zone. She's sinking. Yeah, I think she's, she's, in feng, really she's in feng shui mode. This is why I don't care about flowers. Instead of ever getting flowers, house plants instead. They last way longer. They're probably more expensive though. Oh, the door's gone. And it's obviously, it's always a package for Diane. Always, always. I what is this. it? You've got... Honestly, I can walk around the house now and find seven of these. Tiki Toki shop. <laughs> TikTok shop. Diane loves Love a TikTok, TikTok shop. TikTok shop. I've been stressing about buying something from an Instagram ad for the last two weeks. Why? Because I'm so worried that it's not legit or because I'm used to like really? pop-ups. I've mentioned before on my Instagram, like I'm from the era of, you should be too, where, remember pop-ups pop on the internet? No. Pop-ups where like a pop-up would come up and try and like sell you stuff and it's always like a scam or a virus. No. See, I'm scarred from that. And so Did that's... you get scammed? No, but we always told, never click a pop-up. Whereas now, I feel like Instagram ads and TikTok ads are the same thing. Look at that, Phoebe, look at that. You <laughs> have so many... No, you have so many of these. Look at this, though. This will be flimsy. Oh, it's got ears. Look. Great. Look at this. What are they, speakers look or ears? That badly. I'm about to poo. Look how good it is. Do you know what, I'm actually... Oh. Look. So, I mean, we can get rid of this one. Yep. But before we do, always keep these top bits. These actual spinny bits, because they're good. We'll keep that one anyway, just in case. Yeah, we'll keep them. We can start like an army of them, Look. and then they can take over. Should we take a picture, really? It looks like you're creating a robot army. I want to be impressed. Oh. I feel like it's just lighting up your chin, though. Like the b bottom half of your head. Do you know what I mean? It's probably because we're backlit. Oh, good point. Like, if we're this way. Yeah. Do you know what? Good on you. Let's see how long that one lasts. I reckon that's going to last about two weeks. And it's broken. Yeah. <laughs> you know it as well. It's good though, isn't it? Yeah. It's been a lovely relaxing weekend here on a Sunday. It has. But it's time for Diane to... Head... Sleep. Yeah. Do you know what? I, had, I fell asleep on the sofa a minute ago. Mm. And I was completely out of there. So I would, my arm if, I, if I close my eyes, I will be gone. That mm. person can drive me anywhere and I wouldn't know. <laughs> I, could go, I could wake up in France and I probably wouldn't know. <laughs> I think people could do that anyway with you awake and you still wouldn't know that you're in France. That's true. The other day when I was in South London, they drove me all the way to Elstree when I was meant to drive home. And I was editing a video. <laughs> so when I got to Elstree, which took about two hours, they were like, oh, you, my phone died. That's right. And I said to the guy, oh, do you happen to have a phone charger? And he's like, oh, we're two minutes away. And I looked around and I was like, I don't think we are. I don't notice anything for being two minutes away. I was like, like but I still, I still didn't even question it because I was like, 
I must be taking a different route. And then he gets to um, the hotel that he thought I was staying at in Elstree. And I was like, oh, no, I'm going <laughs> home tonight. And no. uh, yeah, and then we had to do another about two hours back home. So that was, was a in, long, I long day for I was in the car for about four hours. It's been short and sweet. Uh, but I'm glad you're through for another week. Yeah. Obviously, by the time this goes out, you'll know that they're through to another week. Come on. Go on, team. Chris and Diane. Come well done, on. Well done, well done. Looking forward to your next dance. You can't reveal what it is just yet, but I know what it is. Oh, I think people, well, depends on. This goes on a Monday, so they don't know yet. Ah, uh, they don't know yet. Well, no, because. You know, oh, they did say, didn't they? They did say, but sometimes they don't use that, do oh, they? Well, in that case, we won't say just in case, but so, if you do know. If you do know. Then you know. Then you know. If you don't, then you don't. But farewell, bon voyage. And uh, I'll just hold the fort here and have a Sunday on my own, watch football, light a fire. Oh, I'm so jealous. I haven't seen my dubs for the last two days. Oh, they've they don't given like up on you me. anymore. I know. I went away for two days and they've literally, honestly, since then, they've not come back. Oh. And I'm genuinely quite upset about I know. it. I know. I feel like every time you come down as well, you, the first thing you do is look yeah. out there. Yeah. Oh, well. And, and you'll keep thinking about that for days to come. Yeah, well. <laughs> She's taking the guitar, finally. Hey, Let's go. Hey, Yeah, 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 What a game. What a game. Brighton Tottenham. Casper and Josh are big Tottenham fans. I need to let them know. I'm sure they just watched it. We need to remind them what just happened. I wanted to cook pizza, but it's chucking it down. Which is a bit annoying because I was really hoping to cook pizza, but I think I think you can still use it outside. It's an outdoor pizza oven, but if you're heating that thing up to, trying to heat that thing up to 400 degrees, but it's raining outside, that rain's hitting something that's extremely hot. It's gonna like steam, isn't it? I don't think it would work. I may have to go back to the drawing board as to what I have for dinner tonight. It is weird having a Sunday where Diane's not here. Since starting Strictly, we've actually had some full, I think most of Sundays have been full Sundays, but this week it's not. So I'm a bit lost. I'm a bit lost. I don't know what to do. I've got my dough out, I've defrosted it already. Got my, my special Joe's hot honey that I was excited to try. But it's raining. I'll give it a bit more time, I'll give it an hour. If it stops in an hour, I'm getting that bad boy going. If not, plan B. So I've just remembered that this time next week, actually, I will have finished um, a half marathon, my first ever half marathon. And also this week, as you will have seen, I've not done much running. It's meant to be, like I said before, the big longest run I've done is out the way. But usually on a Sunday, I do a long run. My last chance to do a long run before this half marathon. So on the app, I'm going to do, I think it's like nine Ks. So just short 10K, should be fine. Just, I'm going to do like a normal, just a relaxed pace. And yeah, that'll be it. That'll be my point, my last longish run before doing my, my first half marathon. <laughs> is definitely needed in here it gets so hot i really struggle with um treadmill running if i could choose over a treadmill watching a show that i'm like really into at the moment i'm watching prison break again and like i can watch it fine but on a treadmill i just i just i 
can't. I keep looking at the mileage just ticking away or the time ticking away and that's all I can focus on. So it's much better for me being outside running in the, uh, in the countryside on the roads or something just so I've got stuff to look at that's not just like a, a countdown ticking away, you know? But anyway, run done, finished. That is my second to last run before race day. I've got one more run on at some point next week that I've got to do probably like midweekish sort of time, then that's it. And then it's time for the big one. Like I mentioned before, between now and race day, just like re very like sort of gentle leg exercises, probably lots of stretching, but also I think it's like loading on carby meals. Like I'm thinking spaghetti bolognese every day next week. Could be a very, very bad idea, but through doing lots of cardio, you do obviously lose weight. And I'm not, I'm not a big guy anyway, so for me to lose weight is not good. I need to make sure I get my calories in, eating lots of food, and then after the run is done, it's, it's bulking season, baby. And when I say bulking, I mean a Joe Sug bulk, so probably like putting on an extra kg, if that. And with that, I'm gonna end today's vlog. I think pizza was a fail. Um, because it's still raining outside, so maybe we'll do pizza tomorrow. So I'll just have to find something else to have for dinner. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I just want to say as well, um, hello to all my recent subscribers. I'm, I'm assuming I've come across from Tom's channel. I know it's obviously after staying up at Tom's, um, I've had a, like an insurgence of, um, is that the right word? I don't know, but insurgence of new subscribers to the channel. I've actually gained subscribers this month, which is amazing and doesn't happen very often anymore. So thank you so, so much to everybody that has come across from Tom's channel. I really appreciate it. And thank you for sticking around and subscribing. And I hope you are enjoying these, uh, these vlogs. And to everybody else that's already subscribed to the channel, Thank you very much for, for still being subscribed and enjoying these, these vlogs. At some point next week, I want to start reviewing your horror movie recommendations as part of these vlogs. So I'm gonna ask other people that I know, but I also wanna know from you and the general consensus of the people that watch these vlogs, what is your favorite horror movie? Let me know in the comments below. And the one that I see in the comments that's probably the most popular or crops up the most, I will watch, if I haven't watched it already, and I'll go through, then watch it at some point during the week and, uh, and give my thoughts on it and see if you're right and you have good taste in horror movies. But until then, uh, I will see you tomorrow with another vlog. But remember, I'm not a daily vlogmaster. Goodbye.